Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I just, I wanted to make sure that we get the, the samples. Yes. Of all of those in the police and sheriff's departments that said, well, we are wicked. Yes. We do know that the rights of citizens are being violated. Mm -hmm. But since we got involved in the Sodom and Gomorrah family of coming to find out, yes, as long as you come the money, we're going to continue to refuse to enforce the laws. I'm just thinking that a few of those of the time of Sodom and Gomorrah, yeah, mm -hmm. they didn't get destroyed. And it, it seems that God didn't do a very good job. <laughs> But when you're uh, living in a city, yes, it happens that you get involved in relationships with those of other cities. Yes. Now, the idea of the reptile, mm -hmm. the frog, oh, oh, the frog, mm -hmm. the gurgle, <clears throat> you know, for every little mermaid and merman that said, well, I'm the gurgle. I mean, we've been doing this in Atlantis for tens of thousands of years. <laughs> It could have been that a fish caused some wickedness. Now listen, ancient breed of law enforcement. You're wicked. And your thought was, we're just going to torment and torture American citizens. And we're going to obstruct you, Paul C. Budnick, from prosecuting us. Yes, for fabricating false evidence right now. Now I'm going to need, yes. Some volunteers that are very filthy ah, to go through and help us understand the need of knowing what's in your gonads. Yes. And what is the uh, effect of the fluid? Yes. When it is expelled mm. from your physical bodies. Mm. Now, these noses that just have to have that supernatural smell. Poop. I'm thinking that somebody decided to porn. Mm hmm the sexuality of the nation. Yes, a wicked breed of individuals that should have been destroyed and